What you guys got another video here for you. Microsoft now allowing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. If we take a look at the stat counter, we can still see that 61.82% is still using Windows 10. It started to decline a little bit here, as you can see, and Windows 11 was gaining popularity, but now Windows 11 is starting to plateau out and drop again. And maybe that's because people are going back to Windows 10. Even though end of life for Windows 10 is in October 2025, people are still using Windows 10. Now, on Microsoft's latest post here, installing Windows 11 on devices that don't meet minimum system requirements. This post has been edited a little bit by Microsoft, and you can see here, installing Windows 11 on a device that doesn't meet Windows 11 minimum system requirements isn't recommended. If Windows 11 is installed on ineligible hardware, you should be comfortable assuming that the risk of running into compatibility issues. A device might malfunction due to these compatibility or other issues. Devices that don't meet the system requirements aren't guaranteed to receive updates, including but not limited to security updates. As you can see right there, that's been a change. They also have this paragraph right here, which is in bold, which means you have to accept it during the installation. It says this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11. These requirements help ensure a more reliable or higher quality experience. Installing Windows 11 on this PC is not recommended and it may uh, result in compatibility issues. If you proceed with installing Windows 11 on your PC, you will no longer be supported and won't be entitled to receive updates. Damages to your PC due to lack of compatibility aren't covered under any manufacturer warranty. By selecting accept, you are acknowledging uh, that you read and understand this statement. So basically, that's what they are saying during the installation process. It also goes on, then it goes on to before installing Windows 11, it talks about to check if the device running Windows 10 meets the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. It was only a week ago that Microsoft made a post about Windows 11 TPM requirements about saying that they are a compulsory requirement. And now it seems that they are easing off on the installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. It just don't make much sense. So you can see here, after installing Windows 11, it talks about uh, the recovery process if you are having issues and how you can roll back. I'll show you that in a second. But basically, once you read through all of this document, it talks about installing this on compatible computers, and it also talks about installing this on unsupported hardware systems. And it always puts in brackets saying not recommended. But they go through the recovery process here at the end of the document. And also what it's telling you here is basically if you are on an unsupported hardware computer and things are not working out and you're having major issues, then you need to roll back and you can roll back and you do have that right to roll back to Windows 10. Unfortunately, if you're doing this on October 2025, you're not going to be able to roll back to a computer that is going to be receiving any sort of security updates because it will be end of life. So that's going to be pointless. But you can see here ways to install Windows 11. These things haven't changed. Microsoft have had this on their website since the very beginning where they talked about not installing this onto unsupported hardware. And yet they still give you a workaround right here where it says Windows updates in settings recommended and it tells you basically how to roll out an update on supported hardware but it also goes on to talk about other ways to install windows 11 not recommended in brackets and it talks about how you can install this on unsupported hardware so the uptake for windows 11 has not been that great and i think they are starting to probably panic a little bit about Windows 11 use because there's still a massive amount of people that are still using Windows 10. Now, Microsoft have known from day one that you can bypass Windows 11 system requirements and they even show you how to do it on their website right here. And it talks about, you know, putting a couple of registry keys in and you should be good to go to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, if they've known this, they obviously don't want to really sort of enforce it that seriously, otherwise they wouldn't be showing you how to bypass it on their website. 
So we do know that they are now accepting the fact that people are going to use Windows 11 on unsupported hardware, but they are still enforcing the system requirements and they're still enforcing that you really do need a TPM 2.0 and they're still enforcing the fact that you won't get any sort of warranty and they're making you accept to those terms and agreements. And they're even saying that you might not even receive security updates in the future. But as of today, you still receive all updates, security updates on unsupported hardware if you have Windows 11 on it. And this is the weird thing. They're saying that it doesn't run very well on there, but there's plenty of old computers that are running Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and it works perfectly fine. So maybe in the future, once the end of life of Windows 10 comes, they will do something about the updates that you're receiving uh, on unsupported hardware with Windows 11 on it. I'm not 100% sure whether they will enforce it, but they have sort of mentioned in this document as well that they uh, may stop security updates and things like that on unsupported hardware. Now, if you have installed Windows 11 on a Windows 10 system and you are having issues then you can roll back, but you have to do it within 10 days. If you go into your uh, computer here and put, click on start and then settings, go into set system here. And then once you're in system, come down to where it says recovery, and then you should see go back and it will say go back. And if it's grayed out here, you've gone past 10 days and basically you're not going to be able to go back. You will have to do a clean install. You can still do a clean install and use Windows 10 on that old computer if you wish again but once you get to this stage here on the going back stage it's going to ask you to check for some updates this is just in case you can fix some of the problems but if you're having major problems and you're on unsupported hardware it's very unlikely that that's going to fix it and then basically it will give you what you need to know and what you're going to lose and it will say you'll uh, have to reinstall some applications and programs and stuff like that then you click on next and it says, uh, don't get locked out. You have to use the same password that you had for Windows 10 when you sign in. Otherwise, you'll be locked out of your computer. And then you can click on the go back to Windows 10 button. And this will take you back. But remember, you have to do this within 10 days of upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Otherwise, you will lose the right to roll back. And you will have to do a fresh install of Windows 10. But once the rollback process has finished, you should see something looking like this and you should be back on Windows 10 in a few minutes. So at the end of the day, Microsoft have actually said that you can actually install Windows 11 now on unsupported hardware with a few caveats there. That there is a few things that they are not agreeing to and they're still not changing the system requirements. So... I don't think it's changed too much. It's just the fact that they are now making you agree to terms to say that you will agree that you're not going to get any sort of warranty or any guarantees or anything like that or any support from them and you're doing this at your own risk if it damages your PC and stuff like that. But do I think Microsoft will lower the system requirements for Windows 11 to allow other people to install Windows 11 legally and legitimately uh, through uh, you know normal methods I don't think that's going to happen I don't think they're going to change their stance on that but they will understand that people will use the bypass to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware but who knows what Microsoft will do in the future whether they will block security updates for those systems in the future I really don't know uh, we'll have to wait and see I guess but other than that, it's just a wording change on their website. And also you have to agree to a certain criteria when you're installing it on unsupported hardware. That's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to read what you have to say. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.